Hello everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, so if you're new to the series or to the channel, my name is Nova Chieftain, and I bid you a very, very warm welcome. So we are in the Shadowlands, we're actually in Wraithwind Town, uh, we were exploring the Toll House last video, and now we're outside the um, Mason's Guild, Wraithwind Mason's Guild. Um, so we're going to explore there, what I'm going to do first is take a long rest, um, because we need to recharge our Bala Louvre Melody skill, um, which will help a little bit, we we'll do that. We do a quick save. Then we're gonna get exploring just in case we come across any random encounters, because that would be bad for our health, potentially. Um so let's get moving. This place could be empty, full disclosure, I don't know. Uh let's come get Carla. She has more carry weight on way. her, I believe. Shadow root sack, get some of that. Bark skin recipe. That potion, I assume. Read that. Scribble note in a book. Huh, where did it go? Oh, skin recipe, let's have a good read. Frivolity gave me a glimmer of hope today. I took precious time away from research into the platinum scale to help a gnome. The guinea pig was trapped in a bramble and briar, and the gnome wanted something to get to, to something to toughen her skin. I helped her. Then I kissed my raw, scaleless hand and left in good cheer. Recipe for one elixir of bark skin. Extract needed salt of gnarled tree bark. Suspension of either mud method, wing, or lucky light. Method to combine and shake. That should do it. When in doubt with alchemy, help a desperate guinea pig. Pluck it from the thorny sprig. Then serve him up his tea. My success, <laughs> that's weird. My success with bark skin has opened down an avenue of experimentation that could cloak my aching body in scales of hard, shining platinum. Writing is hard. It's hard with the left hand, the right one, the one with the gnome kiss. Seized with it seized in a claw of agony. Didn't really my pain is abominable, but for the first time in a while I have I have it, I do, I hope. A small note was added to this edition of the text. It simply reads, I saved my guinea pig. Alright, so we can now make box kill. So that's one more little potion we've got. Now what else do we have done here? I don't want to so that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their nope. stomach. No. And um, we are hopeful that we can actually oh, romance Carla. We did break. Um, not bro. Um, hoping we can romance Shadow. We did break. Here lies Lizelle's the Grand heart. Mason. His bones and lies expose a pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. A pile of crushed bones. All right, so that doesn't. Shapes, sizes, we can at least examine it. Crunches. All right. All right. That doesn't mean much to me. I'm curious. Uh. All right. I don't know how big this place is. I guess this is the majority of the guild. Yeah. Alright. Infernal iron. Gimme. Yes. We've got a few of those now. I wonder what we can do with it all. Uh what's in the wooden barrel? Rotten lemons. Now nah, keep all the rotten food exactly where it is, I don't want anything to do with that. So this is where the Boats used to come in, I assume. There's a crane here. I wouldn't say that's a chasm, it's just a, a wall. Um, move slowly through here. Uh, we have, what do we have? Trap sound toolkit. Camera's not my friend here. Take all of that. The wooden okay. barrel. We have here. Nope. I, was I don't to want to you. talk to Shadowheart. What do you need? I need you to shut up. All right. I just went over the barrel. Nope. Don't actually. We've got a few waters. I never use them. Use the water to put out fire. What's in that trunk? I think. Okay. These are all. 
stone blocks. Can't Marble, down, is it? Or is it just, just, it's just stone, isn't it? Yeah. Shadow Ruth. Okay, so I guess we're going up to the upper level. Something good here, I hope. I hope so. Nope, just torches. Useless. Nope. Leads onto a balcony which goes down to the front. All right. Lump hammer. I think we need that, do we? We're not. Well, let's open the door then. Curse to put my hands on everything. Okay. Uh. Hey, what? Ah. Interesting. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. We mm. summon them with Dark Justicius, no. who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. Where are we? Guess we'll come back. We're looking for a journal, I think. Better fetch that. Yeah, better do. Salt of corpse rose. Here lies the best smith in Rythwen. Our swords will never slice as true. Here rests Callista Freeclaw, legendary brawler. Died in his sleep, to the surprise of many. This is a graveyard. Yeah. Ice bite robe, armor of Agatis. Wait. How much is it? Eight hundred. I'll take it. We can use that. Dedicated to Pila Crivens, taken along with her family on the same grim night, in memory of Largo Crivens, taken along with his family on the Small same family. grim night. Gotcha. May their deaths be of in memory of Warwick Marsh, dearly missed by both of his wives. Here rests Violet Goldhammer, beloved singer. May her voice live on in our memories. Dedicated to Hugo Hobbs, cobbler. Hobbs the cobs to his friends. It's funny, I used to be a cobbler. Not that long ago, in fact. Oh. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Oh, no. Through the dark he went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. 
Ooh, spooky. <laughs> How long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Dangers of those. Oh. <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can... Set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Yep, go on. Fine, paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Paint me a clearer picture than that. That's gonna be high though. No! Got it twice. Genuinely thought that would be very well. a high one. But. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. You're only telling half what I know I can tell. I'm gonna really use some guidance here, Shadowheart. What are you doing? Oh, we now have to him. Okay. Success. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit, it would be in my best interest as well, should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pitfiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. You throw this creature away. Listen here, Pip Squeak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. All right. All right. Ah, wait.
mausoleum. Do we want to come back here though? Like after. So I kind of feel like I want to explore. Well, no, I mean, obviously, Moonrise Towers is down here, right? That's the ledger. So this, one would assume this is the story quest. Let me have a look at this. I want to look this up today. See if I'm going to... I don't want to trigger out, like... I want to... What I mean is I don't want to mess up our chances of... I want to clear up as much of the story of Act 2 as I can. I don't want to just, like, rush in and fuck things up for myself. So bear with me just a second. Okay, sorry. A few that was a couple of minutes. Well, the seconds, but for me it was a few minutes. I, I don't think we want to go here yet because this kind of leads to ultimately to the end of Act Two, uh, the point of no return. I don't want to do that just yet. And I get a feeling we want to get some more levels in this before we progress deep. If that makes sense. So I'm going to actually see if we can find this part next. This way. I want to get this quest moving. Wait, there is a doodah here, though. Oh, yes. Yeah. We'll cover you. We'll do with you in a minute. Yeah, this is good. So we've got a map marker. Right, okay. That's kind of what I want. Uh, I think that I've been to where's. Uh, take that, take that. Black Oleander. What do we have here? Stuff. Might as well take a look. Just climb up there, nice. Observations of the Shadow Curse. Let's have a read. <laughs> the field research on the Shadow Curse. Well, I'm gonna cop. This field research on the Shadow Curse was quill quilled by a cleric, by a cleric of the Morning Sun. The God of the Morning Sun, Lathander. They were not particularly clever or insightful in their observations, but whatever nuance is lacking in interpretations made up for in the spades with determination. It seems that an eager and hopeful heart, the cleric set out to reach the deepest part of the cursed area to conduct an analysis. An, an analysis. Though based on these blood smeared pages near the book send, you guess they did not get so far as you lead of light. Right. Right. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, we're not going to progress to the mausoleum just yet. It feels like this is quite an important area. I, I got a feeling that whatever Raphael wants us to kill is going to be the hardest shit as well. So I think what we're going to try and do is perhaps uh, House of Healing. This feels like where we need to go for this section. So let's get Karlak. Karlak should be able to just wreck this. Yeah. Boom. Key here. What's this? Surgery and philosophy, a Sharon primer. Alright. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharon out aphorisms and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams of surgical guidelines only with sacrifice is mastery gained so uh, so has our lady said and i say to you dearest reader the dark the darkness is infinite but our master's teachings are not when his wisdom is exhausted and his pupils fully reversed there shall come time for one final lesson he will become the subject of the fully laid bare for his students to consult examine and dissect the sisters shall one day know me first in whole last in part only then will there be masters all right take that can I just pick it up, please? Thanks. Cheers. Give to me. Suits in the chest. Uh, we have the poisonous gloves. And venom. Whenever you deal poison damage, target needs to save your constitution saving throw become poisoned. Nice. Sounds like a, t sounds like a toy for Asteron. What is it? No. And what do we got here? Crystalline lens. Alchemy ingredient. Oh, take it all. Okay. They, they, I thought they'd have more light than that, I'll be honest. Uh, bottle racks. Nope. So this door just leads out, so we want to get further in, do we not? 
So, see what happens. We might be able to talk our way out of this mess. Need to find a way forward. Oh, you've got some levels on you. Fuck. All right. This could go wrong. <laughs> The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. No, I must take Gary's name. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. You're not even looking what you're doing. Oh! Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. <laughs> Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. You're insane, quite clearly. All right. Well, I'm going to guess there's going to be some tricky conversational uh, situation checks here. Uh, uh, student, yes, do please enlighten me. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. What the fuck is this loon talking about? <laughs> See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, and darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. Okay, so you are all insane. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us eyes. finish the cure. So we got examine religion. So we get plus seven from that. That's probably a better check, isn't it? Oh, shut up! Give me a bit of guidance, please. This is fucked up. This where the dice fuck me up now. Ooh, maybe. Nope. Just straight tick. Yep, fucked. Their incisions are as yet still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. You're a madman. Got it. How to steady their hands, I wonder. There we go. Seven plus two four, so that's a lot. So any one of these is good. <laughs> yeah, persuasion. Why not have them hone the skills on each other? Oh, that's a hard one. Oh, no. Close, but no. Right, I think we'll do a quick save on this one. With four inspirations. Do it. Natural 20. Get fucked. <laughs> yes. For a shut up, heart, I like a broom. Of a cure. The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake 
back in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. It nice. is a proud moment when one sees one's teachings so lovingly taken to heart. Oh, that makes life a bit easier. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark fingered embrace. Persuasion. I am not worthy. Please show me how to, how a master works. I'll be honest. Uh, that's another high one. Come on, go, baby, go, baby. No, not that time. We have inspiration. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> your diligence is exemplary very well your own scalpel you will be observe then succeed me into the sucker of Shah Surprise, Bill didn't have anything to say. That makes life a lot easier. What's the story? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Sorry, I just find that immensely funny. Syringe. He's killed himself. They all killed themselves. That's so funny. This saints. This should, 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 start your words in our bar. This should stain, stain scroll is a list of the dead. Specifically, casualties of battle is dated 986 DR, about half a millennia ago. Cyber Malice Thorn. How old was this guy? Titus Craft, just here, decapitation. Lauren, Lord and Evan, just here, blood loss. Unknown Cellulite, Arcane Burns. Ooh. Unknown, Smash Skull, Morin Ma. Just see a split in two. <sighs> Unknown druid, crushed windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others. Final index, catalogs, objects, plucked from the various corpses, daggers, pins, jewelry of all sorts. <sighs> Bit fucked up. Can we pick that up? Well, that made that entire encounter a lot easier. I bet he's the right bastard to fight. So, uh. Okay, this is Julia. Bone saw. It's not really worth. I think 40 is enough. Warrant carrying it. The tombstone's outside, isn't it? Yeah. Woo. Okay, let's check these. Nope, this way around. I'm surprised Will didn't have anything to say. For me? Yes, Carlock, for you. It's all for you, baby. So shout out, shout outs for me. Uh assistant Nessa. Artificial leech. Take it back. <coughs> Gnarly. <coughs> Some of these weapons sound pretty fucked up. Hello. Nope. Wait. Tree panning. Oh, tree panning. That's the uh, olden days. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. The olden days method of curing headaches, isn't it? By drilling a hole in the head. <laughs> okay. Oh. <sighs> sneeze. Can we... Can we cut his eyes out? Okay. 
Tree Pan, Vision Seven Unlocks. What's this skill? No, no. What's that? Trifination, 9 to 25 damage, make a burhole on an enemy skull and possibly lock them prone. Fuck me, that annoys me when it does that. Is that intestines? Strong parasitic poison. Interesting. Draw of coagulated blood. I'm not actually going to pick that up, are we? That'd be silly. Yeah, actually did. Wait, we don't need that, do we? Where did it go? Oh, that's uh. Send that to camp. That's gonna be heavy. Well, I want that for anything, are we surely? Oh, we can always sell it, I suppose. She had. A syringe, take that. I want the poison. And what did Malice have on him? Made lots of stuff. So we have the Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Paralyzing critical once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Well, how much is that? 125. Not a lot. What's this? Cinema scores. Uh, more supplies. Take that. Key. That's the loot. Send this to. Gary. All right. So that's this quest. And I guess we can. What's the key for, I wonder? Is that one of the doors we just smashed open, perhaps? All right. There weren't any chests in there, were there? <laughs> there weren't. Urgent request for supplies. The chief... Chief Urgent. Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate. Sister Anna Ludwin, Dark Cloak. Wreathwind House of Healing. Urgent. Dear Sir or Madam, we have reached dire times in Wreathwind. War has, war has come. Do not teach. That is our duty to mend all who break. Comfort all to all who ail. Without regard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed. Yet our surgeon Malice Thorm abides by his own creed. Yeah, he's nuts. Uh, the will of Shah, he might say. I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leaves some patients' injuries to fester so he may study. <laughs> oh my god. And commands me to nurse only dark just to see us that seek treatment. I beg you, sir. Or madam, please deliver us aid so I might close every tear and cleanse every wound. Even though it's harp even those of harpers and salunites Selun will humbly accept all you can offer. Potions, herbs, searches, even clerics, please help us heal. We got you down a little bit. So he was crazy before even the Shadow Curse, but I assume the Shadow Curse made him a lot worse. Be my guess. 
This sounds like a lunatic. Uh, staff betting pool, what's in here? Here goes. <laughs> Rules foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Once the guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum bet 1 GP. Round 1 bets 11 GP. Chicken egg, wine bottle, carrot, candlestick. What cavity is it? Mouth? Um, bum? <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, I don't think we want to know any more about that. Um, let's go up here. I want to know what this key is for. What does this button do? Did that just go right through Shadowheart? It did. Interesting. Just leads out into the that leads further down, doesn't it? That is interesting. What's that person in there? Okay, that just leads down there. Right. Time for a natter. Oh, the doctor is absent today. Come back another time. Oh, well, he killed himself. I don't know if you got the memo. A heavy chest. Not everyone subscribes to oh, fucker. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. Hope your soul is in good hands. <laughs> library came and other stuff right. yeah i don't feel any guilt about that these are these guys are all a corrupted by curse and clearly fucking insane so Hong Kong. killing them would be a mercy right yeah The doctors found oblivion. Well, no time to mourn. I'll fix this without him. Not dead. Merely medicated. 
to ease the pain. Go for it. Oh, of course. Well, Karlik should have some inspiration, right? Look at here. Got a high roll on the D8. That's nice. I see movement. The patient's awake. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'll take a potion of speed. We've got two and a half grand. Holy fuck, we can buy whatever we want. Run the cat. Tongue of madness, we need some of that. This is pumpkin soup. Oh, I could do it. That'd be lovely today. It's, it's really cold here in the UK today. Uh, Six hundred. You cray cray. Yeah, I'm not paying that kind of money for potions. Now nah, I want to save my money for gear. That'll be fine. Thanks. Uh, can we sell wares though? Yes, we can. All right. What to do? But Gary, what's he got? We we had something to sell, didn't we? Pick something else up. Yeah. No. Um. I thought somebody had something to sell. Let's look at equipment. Maybe. Uh. Maybe not. You know, actually that we can sell. Uh, we don't need that. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. You are cray cray. We'll get to Bowler's Gate. An old map of a in a druidic style of what appeared to be a hidden roots out of the emerald enclave the destination is marked as Baldur's gate and the note is attached i think only what you can carry go through the mountain pass if anyone else falls leave them you can't afford to be slowed down by the excess package good luck okay nothing all right rustic chest what's in here Yep. Uh. <laughs> okay. So look. There is a lift button on this lift. Let's see what's up high. this do we just why do we take it I don't follow anyway Carlic, we're a team. Uh, build a chest. Find this thing. Is it all these groves? Are these shadow cursed? Whatever. Maybe. Read. What do we have here? 
Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain it. His duty is passed on hand to hand, split into smaller pieces of disease, war, funeral rites, but there must always be an overseer of the cycle of life as life pulls away. The countless aeons was Jurgle, lord of the end of everything, sided over the mortality of his unblinking stare until even he grew weary. Young Baal, Bane, and Merkel must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he chose their ambitions to free himself. Merkel claimed primacy of the death from Yogel's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths? Seized by Baal and his incessant greed. So Baal's the god of murder, if I'm not mistaken. What need would there be for noble Kelimpur to judge your passing souls, if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die. After all, those who worship death should remember that above all else. I wanted to pick that up. We're going to put that into... We're going to pick it up. Uh, root silver knife. Okay, what are all these keys for? That's something I want. <laughs> Question I would like answered. Alright, rose books. Scroll of banishment. That sounds like something we could use. Build a chest, let's open you. All the fucking oh, keys we've got. Never believe this. We don't have one for this, alright. Tool will do the trick. Yeah. Bit of guidance, please. Alright, team. Oh, we're gonna have some shit rolls coming. Uh. Okay. Have to keep going. So why would we want to be on the roof? I don't think, I can't think of any reason. <laughs> I guess unless we're trying to sneak in, perhaps. Oh yeah, I wanted to know what that route down was. Well, anyway, we... Just... I wish we could find the ledger. So, I call this enough for now, actually. I think what I'm going to do... is head to I think we're going to head back to the camp um, but I'm going to call this video done and we will rejoin you next video we're going to start we're going to wake let's see if we can wake Art Keller or see what the next step of that quest is and I think we need to talk to Halson as well if I'm not mistaken um, so we will be back next video thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time Bye-bye now.